Well, back in March, the government signed a letter of intent with Royal Caribbean International and the ITM Group to purchase the Grand Lucayne Resort and redevelopment of the Freeport Harbor. There was an initial investment of $195 million, which includes $65 million for the purchase of the hotel, with some 2,000 jobs expected to be created during the first phase. Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis gave our news team an update on that issue during his visit to Coco Key today. I had a very great conversation there because I'm concerned about the negotiations with Grand Bahama and how far advanced that was. And uh, we've come basically to an agreement that yes, Grand Bahama will evolve, yes, Grand Bahama will flourish, yes, they will do everything as well, but it's still on the negotiation um, stage at this particular time. But I'm convinced that Grand Bahama um, will flourish and Grand Bahama, the, the project will move forward.